Greetings ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Mega Man Let's Play. Let's, we have a short one for you today folks, but it is the finale and uh, I kind of wanted this to end on a Friday and not awkwardly on a Wednesday. Eh, it's just something I don't like, it's a personal quirk of mine. But anyway, the Wily Fortress Marathon continues, now we're in Wily Fortress Stage 3. Uh, and compared to the other two, this one is rather easy actually. It's, you know, you got, you got these enemies to avoid which we've all seen and dealt with before so you should know how to deal with them at this point even then even though you can still whip out the elect beam and the thunder beam i keep switching between the two as you may have noticed <laughs> i can't help it sometimes i just want to say elect man but then i think i have you know it's the weapon i should say thunder beam so let me try it again elect beam god damn it uh, once you get to this part of the stage though this is pretty much a, the, the stage starts doing platforming and moving for yourself so what i would just recommend you do is just don't move, don't hit right on the D-pad, don't even think about hitting left, you won't even go anywhere in the first place. And just keep shooting your Mega Buster. The pellets will destroy anything that comes on the screen instantly before they have a chance to do anything. And really, it's, to me, I think it's the developer's way of saying, you know what? Let me give you a hard-ass time with those first two stages. Let's just make this relatively easy for you to go by. You just gotta keep shooting the little pea shooter there. And you collect the spoils real easily. But it doesn't last forever, unfortunately, as you can see right there. And that's it. That's the end of the stage. And now we have the boss of this place, which the Mega Man Knowledge Base refers to as the CWU-01P. And there's seven of these sons of bitches. And we have to destroy all seven of them if we want to beat this place. Uh, as you can tell from the blocks on the floor, this thing has a weakness to Gutsman's super arm. However, I would only recommend you do that for the first two uh, CWU units because after that they start speeding up and to me I think it's real easy to deal with them when you have the blocks to stand on so you can get the jump on them and start you know unloading a hell of a lot of power pellets at once yeah you, I, I'm, I'm taking damage here but uh, this is much easier for me than just relying on four super arms in a row unless of course it's the final one then by all means grab that last block and chuck it at the son of a bitch and well, hopefully you won't miss but overall, I that I think that's the easiest of the boss encounters we had so far. It's not the copy robot. It's definitely not the yellow devil. But this is it. This is the final stage of the game, ladies and gentlemen. And we have instant spikes upon first glance. That's not a good sign. We have these guys from Elect Man stage are trying to get the jump on you. I would take care of them first before even consider approaching that ladder. But even then, you're not out of the clear yet because they approach in this screen too. So, you know, just practice that timing you got in the Leg Man stage and you should be fine. That energy capsule is there for you to pick up in case you need it. I don't really need to at this point because uh, I'm about to come across an item that's going to refill all of my shit anyway. Look at these Guts Man statues he has out there. I don't get what the deal with that is. Must have some sort of fascination with Guts Man. A Dr. Light creation, mind you. It doesn't belong to Wily. Yeah, one thing the game actually doesn't tell you what you're doing with Mega When Mega Man defeats a Robot Master in this game, he's not actually killing them. The Robot Masters all live. You'll see them in, like, other continuities or other games in the series where they're just alive and well, helping Mega Man, you know, with mundane tasks or stuff like that. The Archie comics goes into more detail with that one, which, by the way, I do read. Uh, not faithfully, but I do dabble in it from time to time, and I gotta say, they did a really good job with that. Uh, but that little pinwheel over there which I believe is pronounced the Yashichi, is one of the most glorious things ever in this video game. Once you collect it, it refills everything. Your life, weapon energy, all that jazz. It's such a, it's a sexy, sexy pickup, and it's the only one in the game. And why would they give that to you right now? It's because, well, we have now a boss rush. We have four more rematches with the other four robot matches that we didn't encounter. Like, the last stage, we encountered Cutman and Electman. So now we have... Bomb Man, which we just destroyed really easily there. And after that, we have a rematch with Fireman. Who, again, I know there's a way to exploit his strategy of sporadically shooting those damn fireballs, but, you know, do more damage than he can do to you, and you should be fine. Avoid that fireball on the floor, as I just did right there. And up up next is Elec- uh, sorry, Elec Man. No, he's weak to Elec Man's weapon, the Thunder Beam. It's Ice Man. Three shots. Avoid those icicles. Actually, kind of uh, kind of tricky to do because they're so close to each other and they hurt. As you can see, I'm almost dead. And the final rematch is with Gutsman. Again, weak to Hyper Bomb. Just throw it. 
and hope to god he doesn't jump away from the explosion. It's really the only thing that I really hate about the hyperbomb is that it's, it's, it, it has a delay, which makes it impractical. You really only need to use it for guts, man, and nothing else unless you run into a rogue sniper Joe somewhere. But that's it. That is the final rematch of the uh, six Robot Masters. This weapon energy capsule is right here because you're going to need it because it is now time for the final showdown with Dr. Wily himself, who is weak to two weapons. Well, actually, the weakness has changed because we actually have a two-party here, folks. Uh, Dr. Wily's weakness in this fight is the Firestorm. The first fight that I'm doing right now is the Firestorm. However, the Elect Beam, I, the Thunder Beam, <laughs> I think works just as fine because it actually hits him twice. Uh, if you... Yeah, if you, if you listen closely, you can actually hear the weapon hitting him twice. Uh, so really, it's it's one over the other. I mean, if you want to save yourself some Thunder Beam ammo until the second part of the fight, then by all means. But you have enough weapon energy to take care of both forms. Especially after you, you got that Yashichi item and that weapon energy capsule right before the boss began. Uh, but in, in terms of the fight itself, it's, it's not that hard... I mean, the, the little pellets dropping up and down, you can get a good sense of timing to avoid them when you can. Really, the most distracting thing about this fight is the sprite flickering. You can see it for yourself. He, Wily's blinking left and right like there. Mega Man is, is too, and the, I don't think the Thunder Beam is helping that much. Uh, but the second half of the fight can be a little difficult, if only because sometimes you can't, you can't judge where that little swirly ball Wily shoots is going to end up. Like, I think, it, I think it's... It's relative to Mega Man's current location, so if you happen to be in the air when Mega Man shoots it, then it'll be easy to avoid, but if you're on the floor, eh, then just hope you got good timing and judgment. But, that's it. Wily is done and over with, ladies and gentlemen. He's begging for mercy. We're not going to show him any, I think. What say you, Mega Man? Oh, we just... Clear points, I don't care. I have to apprehend Dr. Wily. Kind of in the way. Can I? Okay, I'm just good. Okay, so Mega Man has entered the evil domination of Doctor Wily and restored the world to peace. Turn the page. However, the never-ending battle continues until all destructive forces are defeated. So it's more of a temporary peace. Fight Mega Man for everlasting peace. All right. I brought it up in the review of Mega Man 1, but I'm just going to assume that Wily was just learned his lesson and turned over a new leaf. We don't see anything. <laughs> we wreck up his Wily machine number one, which is what the thing is called, and we just leave. Into the sunset. I actually do like the backdrop here. It's relatively... It, it, it looks nice. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of the Mega Man 1 Let's Play, and... Really, if you guys aren't aware already of my review on Some Call Me Johnny, then... Uh, what I can say is that for the first game in the series, I believe it's okay. It's a, it can be very hard at times, considering how limited Mega Man can be in terms of movement and... Uh, you know, those old-school, archaic design choices like knockback and... Uh, uh, enemy strategies or just enemy placement in general that can really drive you nuts, and the boss fights in particular. But uh, for the first game in the series... You know, it's, it's definitely passable. Uh, but with that said, though... Oh, there's, there's Roll and Dr. Light. The only time you actually see them in-game. We have other Mega Man games to do. Well, uh, for this solo run that I'm doing until we get more content recorded for the Super Game Man Brothers, uh, I will see you guys uh, next Monday with the sequel to Mega Man. We're doing Mega Man 2 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. And with all that said, I am Johnny of the Super Game Man Brothers. You guys have a great night. Thank you for watching, and take care.